It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504, Jeezy from the Big Easy Hitter Walking Out Back to the Showroom. And today I got a review for y'all, but before I get into it, I like y'all to hit that like button, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, and also follow me on all my other social media platforms, which will be linked in the description below. And yes, this has been a long time coming. For those that don't know, past weekend we did have the release of The Infamous, and I'm gonna say kind of teeter lining. I don't want to say hype, but you know, if you're an OG head, you definitely been wanting this one. But um, before I get into it, I'd like to say a big shout out to Sneaker Politics for the most part for another assist on this. Deeply appreciate them, man. Go check out their website if you're not in the Louisiana or Texas area. Great stuff on there. Big supporter. Uh, if y'all know years down the line before. I have been uh, known to give big shots out to them, but as y'all can see, we have the Nike Jordan box right here. As y'all can see, the old style box, the 96 and 97, 98 box right here. And as y'all can see, let's go ahead and get to it. As y'all can see, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low IE Black True Red. What is that? Multicolor? Yeah. Uh, size 11 and a half. Style code is 919712. Color code is 023. And I'm going to talk about the controversy behind that. Retail owner was $175. And as y'all can see, like I said, uh, if you're familiar with this, that Jordan 11s, 12s, 13s. Well, no, the 13s didn't come in this box. Um, We got the black tissue paper right here y'all can see let's see what we have on the back we have engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes from around the world on the back of this box right here and just do it on the front nothing else so let's get into this these are nice Yeah. All right. Whew. It's like being a kid again. Take this out. Bam! The Air Jordan 11 Low IE, Air Jordan 11 IE, Air Jordan 11 Low, the original 11 Low. As y'all can see right here. Now, brief history, take a Hatfield shoe. He doesn't even know what IE stands for. It thought, everybody thought it was International Edition. Uh, but brief story behind it, the 11 low IE was out at the time. Also, the 11 low standard, like with the patent leather still on it, that also was out, but that was a PE for Jordan on court uh i might post a picture right here of the actual pe sample that was for jordan is a low top 11 bread that he did where we did get the release of that down the line like in 20 what it was 2015 but it had the red sock liner instead of the all black one and this is the 11 low ie that he also played on court with during the playoffs and as y'all can see right here, this was a coincide with the uh, the mid top 11. It just did away with the standard uh, pad leather and was replaced by the ventilation system right here. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the bottom. As y'all can see, we have that smoky translucent bottom on here. We have red pods. We also have that jump man right there in white. We have the red and black checkerboard uh carpet fiber 
wouldn't be right if you didn't tap it. Uh, leading up to that, we have the all-white midsole. Pretty standard on the Jordan 11. On the upper, we do have a suede on the panels of the shoe. As y'all can see, it does have the ventilation holes on there as well for breathability. We do have the tumbled leather on the toe cap as well. And as y'all can see, it's ruffled. It has that extra stitching going on right here. On the tongue, they did away with the actual strip that you that one two three uh strip that usually say is jump man jordan on there is done away on this one uh we do still have those speed lace ropes and we do have what is a mesh combined with a leather stabilizer in the middle of the tongue on the top of the tongue we do have a jump red jump man uh the sock line is also done in red as well on the inside we do have a jump man jordan on the inside of the tongue. There's no uh, quality uh, basketball products expired by the greatest player ever behind the tongue like we're accustomed to on Jordan 11s. On the medial, pretty much the same as the lateral. No ballistic mesh on the top. Uh, we do have leather on this top right here as well. Like I said, the 11 low IE is like a complete departure other than the foot pan, other than the midsole and the sole. From the traditional 11 like this could have legit been a completely different shoe if they really wanted to go there with that uh let's see what else do i miss um they did tuck the back of the tongue right here and what made this model a little bit different than the last couple past couple of releases is this is the first time this specific version of it has come out since 96 not only that uh like i said the 2000 the what the 20 what it was 2011 2012 version had like elephant print on there as well um the cobalt is the only one that kind of stayed true over the last couple of years i'm a fan of the ie i also was a fan of the air jordan 11 19 low which also took the patent leather i mean uh inspiration from this and the black cement three kind of did a full departure from one shoe as far as like the upper was concerned but um i definitely definitely appreciate this shoe right here to be honest it almost looks like this is what a uh, air jordan 11 on the inside would look like without the pad leather without the ballistic mesh like it almost looks like that but that's just a personal opinion of mine i might be wrong but like I said, oh, the tongue is made out of leather. Just letting y'all know that. Um, but like I said, man, very dope shoe. Happy to have this in the collection for the most part. Happy to have this. I do recommend you go true to size on this shoe. If you want that snug feel, you can go a half size down. Um, I'm a true 11. I can either go 11 and a half or a 10 and a half. But for the most part, like I said, I might i'm gonna do a swap and get my actual size 11 for this because these are just from the look of it a little more bigger than what i expected them to be but um let me know in the comment section below what y'all think what well, these are go for y'all uh was these trash in y'all opinion let me know man but as always i deeply appreciate each and every last one of y'all stay true stay fly stay blessed i'm jc baby and we're in the showroom and i am out you did